children, it's Miss Tina again, and there's a special event that's happening this weekend. Does anybody know? It's Mother's Day, and although we appreciate our mummies every day, on Sunday we need to give her an extra special loving. So today's reading, I'm going to be reading two books. The first book I'm going to read is I Love You, My Bunnies, and the second book I'm going to read is The Night Before Mother's Day. So let's start with I Love You, My Bunnies. Spring had finally arrived in the forest. Butterflies flittered from flower to flower, and the robins sang cheerfully in the trees. The bunny's day began just the same as always, with a soft, cozy nuzzle, a filling of bunny tummies, a tickly warm wash, and a big, strong hug. Soon the bunnies hop off to play. Mama does so much for us, Thumper said. Let's make her a basket. Thumper's sisters were excited that they all hopped to it. Rustle, rustle. Trixie and Daisy searched up high for twigs. Rustle, snap. Rhea and Tessie looked down low. Scritch, scratch, the bunnies wove the twigs together. Nearby, the chipmunks chittered cheerfully, but the five little bunnies did not hear them. They were making a basket as strong as their love. The basket was sturdy, but it needed something more. Flowers, Daisy said. Pick. The bunnies picked buttercups, daisies, and lilies. Even Tessie found some pink clover. The meadow larks, larks chirped in the trees above, but the five little bunnies didn't hear them. They were making the basket beautiful for their mama. The basket was lovely, but it needed something more. Trixie hopped off, and soon she returned with a plump blackberry. Rhea smiled. Mama loves berries, she said. Pluck, pluck, mmm. The berries were juicy and ripe, perfect for bunny tummies. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh, what are these? What are they? Bees buzzed amid the brambly patch, but the five little bunnies did not hear. They were filling their basket with sweetness for their mama. And at last, they were done. So what did they have in the basket? They made the basket first, then they added some flowers, and then they added some berries. The bunnies took the basket, that strong, beautiful, sweet basket, back home to their mama. And their mama gave them something strong, beautiful, and sweet right back, a big hug. We love you, Mama, the bunny said. And I love you, my bunnies, their mama replied. The end. That was the first book, I Love You, My Bunnies. The second book is The Night Before Mother's Day. Twas the night before Mother's Day when as quiet as a mouse, Dad told us a plan to get mom out the house. Her sneakers were set by the doorway with care in hopes that her running pals soon would be there. So their mommy likes to run. Who else's mommies like to run? Then out in the yard there rose quite a crowd. Come on, let's go girl, her friends shouted real loud. So mom, in her sweatsuit and red baseball cap, plugged in her earphones and jogged off in a snap. Look, she's waving goodbye. Away to the kitchen we flew like a flash, as if we were running a 100-yard dash. I wonder what they're going to make in the kitchen. 
We measured and mixed a delicious cake batter, then blended the frosting. Oops, way too much splatter. Uh-oh, luckily Daddy has an apron on. We made fancy cards, adding our I love yous, and a special coupon that Mom sure could use. Wonder how many of you are going to make your own special cards for your mummies. When mom came home, she saw the mess in the sink. What I miss? She asked. Nothing, dad said with a wink. We children then nestled all snug in our beds while visions of mom danced in our heads. The next morning we presented a giant bouquet. It's for you, Mom, we cried. Happy Mother's Day. Look, they got some flowers, too, for their mummy. She read both our cards and, after wiping her eyes, said, a private spa session. What a lovely surprise. She was crying because she was so happy. We took Mom to the kitchen where our spa was set up. Dad served her black coffee in an extra large cup. We rubbed her shoulders, we massaged her feet. Mom sighed and smiled, oh, you kids are so sweet. I wrapped a towel turban to cover her hair. Then we dabbed on a mud mask, no mess anywhere. I painted her nails, what glittery fun. A top coat of, coat of polish, voila, manicure done. Dad said, the chef will be serving a divine gourmet brunch. That's a meal that comes between breakfast and lunch. So mom hurried off to go and get dressed. We took seats at the table, behaving our best. When what to our wondering eyes should appear, but the perfect model for mother of the year. Her eyes, how they sparkled, her brown hair, how curly. Her cheeks were like roses, her skirt very twirly. We raised our juice glasses and offered a toast to the world's greatest mom, and that's not to boast. Ooh, so look what they made. They made her a nice cake. Mom thanked us for everything. It brought her such cheer. So she, she, wished, it could, she wished it could be Mother's Day every day of the year. The end. So maybe you guys can make a home homemade card for your mummies and go pick some flowers from out in the garden and present her with something really special on Sunday. Take care. Happy Mother's Day, mummies.